wanted to do something a little bit different. This, as you can see from the label on the box, is a Mammoth ME3 Marine steam engine. <clears throat> and I've been after one of these for a, for a while. Uh, and this one came up and it was boxed. <clears throat> looked to be in really good condition. So <clears throat> let's get it out of the box and have a look at it. Now, I haven't actually taken it out of the box yet. It arrived this morning and this will be the, uh, the first time I've seen it as well as you guys. Box appears to be in good condition. Which, considering its age, is pretty, is pretty good. And we'll get on to the, uh, the age part of this in, in a little while. Oh, excellent. We've got the instructions. Always good to have the instructions. And we've got the funnel. Yeah, so, uh, so there we go. The engine unboxed. Let's change the camera angle around a bit. Always, always good to have the instructions. Lovely that is. I shall put that into to a plastic envelope to protect it, I think. But yes, lovely to have that. So before we take a real good close look at it, I want to give you a little bit of a context about the Mammoth Marine steam engines, model steam engines. And there were three. There was the ME1, the ME2 and this one, the ME3. It's the ME3 that really interests me because for a very specific reason. The ME3 was introduced in 1965. The ME1 and the ME2 both came into existence in 1958. So the reason that the ME3 was introduced was at that time in 1965, there was a company called, I think it's JL Randall, and they produced a wonderful range of model steam engines under the name Signaling Equipment Limited, that is SEL. Now, apart from this wonderful range of uh, model stationary engines that they produced, SEL also produced a very small marine model steam engine. And basically what happened was that uh, JNL Randall decided to stop producing the SEL range of engines in 1965. And they approached Mammoth and with uh, some of their uh, remaining stock, and which included a few thousand of these little marine steam engines, and they offered them to Mammoth for a very small amount of money. So Mammoth bought, bought these engines, and then shortly after, in 1965, they brought out the ME3 marine engine, which actually used the SEL engine. So in my mind, what makes this marine engine rather special compared to the previous two is the fact that this is not a Mammoth engine. This is an SEL engine, which is, again, you know, it's kind of unusual for one manufacturer to use another manufacturer's parts. But um, let's get this on the turntable and have a proper close look at it. Well, here we go. That's a fairly simple engine, you know, uh, tin plate folded base plate, standard Mammoth boiler and firebox, uh, chrome boiler shroud, all, all, all pretty much standard Mammoth fare, as I said, apart from the engine, which of course is not Mammoth at all, it's an SEL. Now we can date this fairly accurately. These were only produced between 1965 and 1972. So this is at least 51 years old, could probably be considerably older but we know that they were made during that seven year period. Yeah, I mean, this one is in, in, in really good condition. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it has been run, if that's the original burner, because the, it looks like it's the burner's been used. There's some surface rust on the shroud, but they, the Mammoth Chrome Shrouds, they always rusted. So that's, you know, par for the course. That one is actually very good. So I, I suspect this was not used very much and probably put in a cupboard in its box for the vast majority of its life. And I've, I've thought a lot about this and I'm, I'm not going to do any restore on this at all. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is <clears throat> and then we'll try and we'll try and get it steamed. Uh, and I don't foresee any any problems with that whatsoever. Let's have a close up of that little SEL motor because that's a sweetie. There we go.
yeah yeah it was it was a bit tight when i got it out of the box but it, it, it does turn i mean i'm gonna i'll take it i'll take it all apart clean it and then um oil it all the rest of it there's no there's no play in the shaft or anything so that's good which again is why i don't think it's actually been used that much but um yeah so <coughs> a very very nice little engine Not really sure why um, a mammoth other than the fact that they got these engines from um jnl randall the people that made the scl engines they got them apparently very cheap so it may well be that that's why they they, they produced another engine because they were still selling the me1 and the me2 at this stage in 1965 so yeah interesting interesting bit of history from from the uh from the mammoth model steam engine company i was very lucky with this one the guy put it on who was selling it he put it on at a buy now price but he was open to offers and i i, I made an offer on it which he happily accepted and so i got it um and it's just nice to get to have a complete engine with its box and the and the little funnel and everything that would, would have come with it um just just really nice right so let's get it uh, oiled up and cleaned up and um We'll see whether we can get it steaming. Well, apart from cleaning and oiling the engine, I did give the boiler shield a bit of a wipe over with a microfiber cloth and some metal, metal polish just to see if we get the uh, surface rust off. And it's done quite a nice job. It's come up quite nicely. <laughs> well, it works. Well, the little mammoth engine was it in serious danger of escaping off the bench and off of the turntable so i've got it pinned down with some uh drawing pins hopefully they'll hold it in place but it but it runs it just runs superbly i've got the gas turned right down it's really quiet very smooth Absolutely lovely runner. And imagine that, that would probably... Yeah, there's quite a bit of power there. Like I said, I didn't do anything to it. It's, pri it's priming a bit. There's a lot of water coming out of the coming out of the exhaust. I didn't overfill the boiler. I actually filled the boiler to the appropriate sort of um, level. You know, using the level plug. So let's turn the gas off a bit. There we go. Too much pressure, probably. But yeah, it runs a treat. And that's with the gas turned off. I'll get it relit. I've got the gas turned down literally as low as I can, but um, it obviously doesn't require a lot of heat. Yeah, nice engine, very nice engine. It's nice for me to have an engine I don't have to do any work on for a change. <laughs> Mammoth ME3 Marine Steam Engine. That's what it says on the box. Okay. What a lovely runner. Hopefully over the course of time I will be able to acquire the other two Mammoth engines. They don't come up on eBay that often to be honest with you. But as I said, this was the one I was particularly interested in because it has the SEL engine, which is just amazing. Well, there you go. Run to treat. Well pleased with that. Showing about the paint coming off of the base there, but you know, it is over 50 years old and it has been used. And if we have a look at, this is the, the actual original burner here. You can see that that's obviously, it's, it's been used. So, but I, I just, I love this. I think this is fantastic.
You never know, maybe one day I'll get a boat to put it in. <laughs> Mind you, you can write on the back of a matchbox the amount I know about boats. So, Okay, I think that'll do. Hope you enjoyed the video as always. Thanks for watching. Cheers.